Hello, you fucks. Welcome to John Solo's Beer Brigade. I'm John Solo. This is little Alyssa Grambling, who isn't getting deported. Congratulations on that. Okay. I'm just not. I would never get deported, but all right. Well, it's my understanding that you were, like, there were possibilities. I know some stuff's been going on with Toki, and, like, you, there was a chance you were going to go back to Florida, but you're not going back to Florida. You're not getting deported from South Carolina. You're a permanent South Carolina at this point. You got the house. Is that correct? That is correct. And I'm also uh, registered to vote in the state of South Carolina. Holy shit. They'll let anybody do that sort of thing. Did did you have to, uh, did you show them your Florida ID and all that? Or I don't really know. Well, when I got changed over to South Carolina, because I had to renew my driver's license this year. Yeah. They, uh, they gave me the, <laughs> they gave me the uh, option to register to vote. Did you... Now, when you renew the driver's license, what I've done in the past is normally they do an eye test. Did they do the eye test with you? Yeah. Did you have to get like a little step stool or somebody to prop you up there to get up there to get that? <laughs> I should have. I had to stand on my tiptoes. Wow. <laughs> and then did they check to see? I've got one see... question for you, though. When Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. When go we on. get done with this conversation. It's, it's, uh, well, wait, well, what I was going to see is if, if you had, because you know, I you were telling me about the thing you have to put on top of your car for work and that... Um, you can't get it up there. So what I was thinking was maybe they should do some sort of test for that too. To like, see, and you can get like a little trampoline and you can boing and then you can put it up there. And... I don't bounce. Oh, I don't know how that works. Um, so what's your question for me? Did you uh, do what Andrew suggested and uh, ask Joe, go, go up behind Jody and ask you if it's raining? I have never once taken Andrew Gray's advice. And I, <laughs> I, I feel ever since he tricked me with that single bed thing in Amsterdam, I'm, I'm done taking any sort of thing that he, I love him. He's a good friend. I will not do a single thing he says. Um, so no, no, in fact, I did not. Um, you know, what's disappointing to me. So I got this new, this new watch thing, right. And we've been going back to the gym and working out and my treadmill at the gym that I like to run on, <clears throat> I've run on several. I think the one that I've run on the last couple of days is inaccurate. I get done and I'm off the treadmill. And I'm like, Phew, I did it almost two and a half miles there. Look at that shit. And then I look at my watch. My watch says, no, you did a mile and a half. It's almost a mile off discrepancy. So then I was just reading online before here and I got my heart rate up and I had a hell of a workout. It was really good. Turns out that treadmills are far more inaccurate than wrist monitors. So my wrist is correct and my treadmill is not. I only did a mile and a half today, which is kind of disappointing. Mean, it's I got a great workout. I feel good, but it's like I felt like you know, <clears throat> two and a half miles sounds a hell of a lot more. I guess I was. It's all about being. It's about impressing. So I felt like I did more than I actually did. It is what it is. So. I thought earlier this week, I saw in the comments, you said that we were not having a lot of releases this week, but it looks like you released all over the place. No, I said we were having releases. Ah, well, it shows how much yeah. attention I pay to what you say. Um, cool. Well, that makes perfect sense. And let's, uh, let's, let's get it up, so to speak. We have the first one of the week. Nice Catching You by Ryan Taylor and Joshua Hard. Hardwood. You said hardwood. I heard you. <laughs> Narrated by Nick Jigaruso. Look at that. Um, we love Nick, and uh, I haven't talked to him in a little while. I need to reach out to him again. We should have him on the show. It's been a little while. I need to check and I see how his new booth is doing. I'm, I know he, I've, he's been on the show before. I know he has a camera. It's just a matter of like, getting... Well, it's beaten. not hooked up to the booth yet. Well, he said he was having a hard time. I went through this as well in my booth, where... Uh, I installed all these fancy lights and all that fun shit. And then I turned on the microphone and started recording and realized that they were all causing RF interference on my microphone. They were like, you could see, like you could hear them. They're like in the background. So he bought these fancy schmancy lights. And then like a week later, he contacted me and said, Hey, you ever had this problem, dude? And I said, yeah, I have. And uh, it's, it, it turns out that for me, I paying for those Philips Hue lights, it's, 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 they're expensive as shit, but they are better. So last dark I had, he pulled all the lights that he put in his new booth out because they weren't working and he was very depressed. He was working in the dark, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I, I, we, we, that's his story to tell. I well, should maybe you need to go over there and help him set up his uh, camera. I think that I've had enough of helping him out for the time. being. <laughs> the last time I went over there was one of the hardest physical tasks I've ever done in my life. Jesus Christ, that boost. Well, helping yeah. him with the camera, it's not going to be that hard. <clears throat> it's maybe you should help him with it. You got a camera. Look at you. You're going. 
I don't live up there. That's not true. Um, well, at least you weren't deported. Uh, next, we had... <laughs> uh, snuggle season. I almost said smuggle. Set in the world of Heron Manor by Amy Bellows, narrated by Lance West. I swear Lance West is a porn name if I've ever heard one. Then we had... Dancing Around the Cop, Alpha and Omega Series, Book 2, by Lisa Oliver, narrated by Kevin Earlywine. That one also came out on the 9th. All these are the 9th so far, by the way. Then we had... Once Bitten, uh, Xavier, I don't know, Xavier, Kevin, Book 1, by I Jada think, Marks. I'm, I'm an expert at these. I think that's Javier. Um, I think Javier, I there it yeah. is. Yeah, it's kind of like knew, caviar. I, yeah, I knew not. that. <laughs> I knew that, but just didn't want to come to me right then. Uh, no, I get it. And air narrated by Eddie Herrera. There you go. Uh, that one came out on the 10th. Then we had... You Will Bow Down, The Odin Chronicles Book 4 by Nicholas Bella, narrated by Matt Williams. Now this was... Weren't you listening to this series? I, I seem to remember a bunch of you getting yes. into the Nicholas Bella stuff. And I do That's have so. this, and I do have this book, and I will review it when I get ready to Wait, listen right. to audiobooks again. Right, I understand. You're, I, from what I understand, as we were talking off the air, you apparently broke some of your audiobook listening devices. Is that what happened with the last no. series? Or I don't know. I I'm just didn't. Sure. I just didn't feel. Feel like I wanted to listen to anything this week. Dehydration will get the best of us. Um, then I'm we not have... dehydrated. <laughs> All the White Lies We Tell by Gary Michael, narrated by Michael Dean. Hey, oh, that one came out on the 11th. That could and be that, him on the cover. That might be him on the cover. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> uh, there's not very much hair, and he's got a six pack. That could be pretty much anyone I see that has a hairless chest and a six pack. I accuse of being Michael Dean at this point. Uh, then we had. Matched by My Rival, Thrust into Love, Book 2, by D.J. Jameson, narrated by Nick J. Russo. That boy's been busy. That one came out on the 11th, Yes, he too. has, and I do have this one in my library. In your library also? Are you going to listen to it? Yes. Yes, eventually. Eventually? You gotta get, you're falling behind. Uh, then we had... New Daddy at 47. 47 Duology Book 2 by Nora Phoenix, narrated by John Solo. That's me. That one came out on the 11th as well. And uh, yeah, um, that one, I think you definitely need to listen to the first one. Um, so there's two of them out now. Uh, and listen to the first one before you get into the second one. Then we had... Gone But Not Forgotten, 10 Book 1 by Charlie Cochet, narrated by Gary Furlong. Did you see... Gary was uh, just recently booked on the Talk to the Beard show, and uh, he sent a video over to Tracy. Did you see that? No. It's fucking hilarious. Um, it's I, I'm, I'm going to have to see if I can post it up in the group um, because it's a it's a riot. It's him going in, in his like Irish Texan accent thing, which is weird to begin with. But he's like, um, and we uh, uh, just got booked on the John Solo. Brigid, Brigid, beer, what? Who's Johnson? You hear this type, 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 type. Oh. Tracy, oh. here's an echo. Um, well, Tracy can can do that to however. I'm starting to hear one. I'm not hearing any echo whatsoever. It's not, it's not me. I'm not getting an echo. It's not me. Anyways, okay. I'm going to have to see if I can get that up in the group at some point. Um, next okay. we have... Uh, this I've been waiting for. It's also in my library. Ghost of Truth, Medium Trouble, Book 2 by Alice Winters, narrated by Greg Boudreau. Ta-da! You said Tremblay wrong. That one came out on the 11th, too. The 11th was a big day. We also had... The Nature of the Game, Stick Aside, Book 2 by Amy Aislin, narrated by Adam Lawrence. I wonder what sticks... Do you think she's... You think she's talking hockey. about oh hockey? Okay, that's a different thing. Then yeah, we a lot had... of hockey books came out. Yeah. What the fuck is going on here? All right, uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna announce this one. Kissing at Cleopatra's Needle, a boyfriend's <coughs> past story by Jason Frond, narrated by Guy 
Berezier. I don't really know. Not heard a guy. I'm sorry, guy, if I mispronounce your name, dude. Um, but is, is Cleopatra's Needle, is that a place? Is that a, a monument? I don't really, not heard of Cleopatra's Needle before. I'm not it a very looks like bright a cemetery. person. Okay. I, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I, it kind of looks like it should be in Washington, but I don't really know. Um, I don't, I don't remember Cleopatra ever visiting Washington. Uh, then we had a gilded iron blade San Amaro investigations book three by Kai Butler narrated by Greg Tremblay. You said Boudreaux wrong. That one also came oh, out Lordy. on the 14th. Then we had tempt me. Tattoos and Temptation, Book 5, by Mia Monroe, narrated by Kale Williams. Holy shit, Betty just said that Cleopatra's Needle is only 31 minutes long. Um, you don't even have to get a charge in for that. Then we had... <laughs> <laughs> the Blood Boss, Black Veil Series, Book 1, by Davidson King, narrated by Tim Page and Declan Winters. Declan is... He's a dog. How is he going to narrate a book? How does that even work? That came out on the 15th as well. Then we had... Unexpected, The Protector's Book 10 by Sloan Kennedy, narrated by Michael Dean. That one came out on the 15th. Michael Dean has also been a busy man. Then we had... He always is. Asking for Trouble, Sports, Romance, Snow Tip Falls, Book 2... By Alex McGanders, narrated by Zach Hoffman and Ryan Valent. It's cool that we're getting new narrators here. Like, I haven't heard of, and watch, they're probably like the most prolific narrators in the world, but I haven't heard of either of them. So it's cool that we're getting some Neither new narrators into the genre. Um, somebody should check that out and tell me if they're any good or not. Uh, then we got... Letters to Half Moon Street, Metal and Men, Book One by Sarah Wallace, narrated by Gregory... Maupin and Abigail Bailey Maupin. It it was under MM Romance, so I put it in there. Well, it's no worries. Um, I don't mind putting a little. I mean, I like the pussy myself, so I'm into it. But uh, uh, it seems like that's a husband and wife narration team, which is kind of cool. Um, unless they just randomly happen to have that last name, which I doubt. Uh, then we had. You want me to say? Yes, Ego, please. E I, I know this word very e well. Egotistical. Because, uh, very good. That's me right there. Puck boy. Puck boy. <laughs> Puck boy's book one by Eden Finley and Saxon James, narrated by Iggy Toma and Alexander Sendis. There you go. That one came out on the 15th, and we had... Cole, Gentleman of Emer Emerald City, book two, by L.A. Witt, narrated by Michael Ferriolo. <laughs> Then we had... Oh, this was a re-release. Virtually Screwed, Love and Luck Book 2 by Isla Olsen, narrated by Joel Leslie. That's my favorite title of the week. And finally, we had... <laughs> Poetry in Motion by Samantha Way Whalen, and it's also narrated by Michael Ferriolo. And that one also came out on the 16th. So... Um, I want to get into this real quick. You didn't listen to anything this week. You felt like reading, mm -hmm. which was an I odd like thing reading, for yes. you. Now, normally when I've seen this choice happen, it's because you get into a book, but you don't really like the narrator. So you jump over and read it. But you were telling me that was not the case this week. Is that correct? No, this book is not on audio. Oh, the series is not on audio. Oh, ah, well, that would explain it then. Okay. What series are you reading? Bound Gods by Adrian Wilder. I've heard of Adrian he Wilder, have, I've not heard of Bound Gods Yeah, before. he does have one that's on audio. It's called Knox. That was narrated by Kurt Graves. Okay. Um, is it dark? Is that what Tracy's saying? It's, it's yes. kind of a darker thing? Uh, what does yes, that mean, anyways? Does, does that mean it's uh, the, the, you're beating the shit out of each other, cutting people with knives and all that fun stuff? No, 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 no. No knives. Just pretty much beating the crap out of somebody else. Oh, there you go. Well, it's it's, it's good like you're BDSM esque. Okay, so they they choose to have it. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Um, 
Cool. Um, well, uh, one uh, once again, you did a fantastic job putting this all together. Thank you very much. I thought you messed up for a second when I saw it. There wasn't anything that you were listening to, but no, no. It turns out that there just wasn't an audio, and you got in a dark mood and wanted to read about guys beating the shit out of each other. So that's all good. <laughs> Good job. Um, thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Have fun. We will see you next week for another episode of the Rambling Gramlin Show. Have fun. <laughs>